What's going on everyone? Ted Carr here, founder of Course Creator Academy. If you want to check out the free training on how to get started with your own course, I'll post a link to that in the description. But for now, I want to get into the number one reason why I think people's courses or people's digital products just don't sell at all. And this is, um, it may sound super obvious once I say it, but it's something that most people truly do not even think about, do not even consider when starting out with their own digital product and their own offer online. So whether it's courses you want to sell or ebooks or coaching programs if you're missing this one piece it's not going to sell or it's not going to sell very well at all and again this is going to sound super obvious once i say it but most people it just completely goes right past them and they don't even consider it it's this right here your offer it needs to be irresistible it needs to be irresistible it needs to be one of those offers that when the right person sees it they think wow I need to have that, need to have it. Not it's a nice thing to have, but I need to have it. Irresistible, meaning they cannot resist it. And now you might be thinking, well, cool, Ted, that sounds great, but how do you actually create an irresistible offer? Well, there's a few things that go into creating an irresistible offer, but one of the things, one of the things that goes into creating an irresistible offer is that it offers a highly desirable end result. It must have a highly desirable end result as its promise. So for example, what are some highly desirable results? Well, you can just think of some um, off the top of your head, like I'm gonna do right now. Highly desirable, highly desirable results, things that people are willing to go way out of their way for, are things like better looks. So whiter teeth, thicker hair, better skin, bigger muscles, right? just more beauty. Uh, another highly desirable result people have is health. And health comes in many shapes and sizes as well, many forms. One of them is pain-free living. One of them is longevity. One of them is just clearer state of mind, less brain fog. One of them is more energy. There's different things, uh, there's different parts of, of health that are very highly desirable. Better digestion, better sleep, right? Um, another really obvious one is a highly desirable result is money. If you can help people either save money through their taxes or through like DIY projects, if you can help people save money, that's very highly desirable, even through minimalism. Or if you can help people make money, like if you can help businesses get clients, if you can, if you can help people make sales, if you can help businesses grow their Instagram, like with social media marketing or, or whatever, social media management, like if you can help a business make money, if that's the end result, that's highly desirable for businesses or entrepreneurs. Uh, another highly desirable result is relationships. Like if you can help people get dates or if you can help people save their relationship, save their marriage, that's highly, highly desirable. So if you have an offer and it does not have a highly desirable end result because it's something like, um, this is an example I heard the other day. Um, one of my friends once wanted to create a course about like philosophy and just like about how life works and how nature works. Like that's really cool and all, but it's not really highly desirable. It's not, it's not a highly desirable result because the end result is just like more understanding. Like it's very vague. It's very airy fairy. And I, I kept asking like, okay, so what are they going to do with that understanding? What are they, how, like, how is their life going to improve? And he's just like, oh, their life's going to improve in, in many different ways because they'll understand like the Fibonacci sequence and they'll understand, you know, the golden ratio and they'll understand, you know, how the stars align, how the planets align and, it's just not super highly desirable that that end result. So that course just really won't sell that well unless it's marketed in a way where you teach them this stuff and then as a result, they can then go out and get more dates or they can go out and then make more money or they, and they can go out and get fitter or healthier or live longer. Like it needs to be tied to a highly desirable end result. So you can still teach whatever you want to teach. If you want to teach philosophy, do it. If you want to teach about... Um, if you want to teach about nutrition, do it. If you want to teach about self-love, do it. If you want to teach about um, astrology, do it. But make sure to tie it down, tie it back to a highly desirable end result. Another example is somebody had the example of they want to teach people, they want to create a course about environmental uh, consciousness or like being eco-friendly. And as I was working through this with them, I told them, I was like, look, like being eco-friendly, even though it's super, super important, people just are not going to really buy that because it doesn't tie to them directly. So what you can do is you can somehow 
create a benefit that they're going to get from being more environmentally friendly. You make being environmentally friendly just like a, a side bonus. And so what you decided to do is create something called um, this eco-minimalist course. So now she's helping people become minimalist, which is going to help them save money, which is going to help them have a clearer state of mind, have a cleaner house. That's a high, highly desirable result, a cleaner house. Um, and at the same time, help the environment because of the way you're able to dispose of certain products, you can dispose of them in an environmentally friendly way. So it's eco-minimalism. And that's just an example of how to take something that people aren't really going to buy and then turn it into something that they will buy, turn it into a more of an irresistible offer, tie it down to a highly desirable result. So rather than just talking about, I want to teach environmental sustainability, teach minimalism or teach nutrition. And, and let that minimalism help people save money. Let that nutrition help people lose weight and have more energy and, and feel more beautiful. While at the same time, just so happens to also save the environment. Just so also happens to save the animals, right? Uh, that's another example. Vegans really want to save animals. They're going to create a course teaching people how to save animals. It, it, it's a really noble cause. It's a really noble thing to want to do, but it doesn't sell that well because it doesn't tie directly to the end consumer. So what you can do instead is teach people how to lose weight or how to clear their skin or how to get super fit using a vegan diet so that they'll also just so happen to save the animals. So I hope this helps. I hope this video helps. You just got to understand that if your end result of your course or your ebook, or your coaching program doesn't promise a highly desirable end result, it's probably not going to sell that well. Uh, if you want more tips and advice on how to create an irresistible offer, I've put together a free training. I will link it down below and you can check that out. Uh, I'm doing a live one tomorrow, a live training tomorrow. You can check that out. I'll post a link tomorrow. It, once the live one is done, I'll just post the other one. But um, if you want to attend a live training, it's happening tomorrow on how to create an irresistible offer and how to pick your niche, I'll post it in the description below. All right, that's it for now. Peace out, much love. If uh, you have any questions about how to grow an online business, if you're struggling with anything, post it in the comments, and I will make a video about it in the coming days. All right, that's it for now. Peace, peace, ciao for now, and uh, I'll see you later. Bye.